Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, let me share you a Redmi Note 10 smartphone unboxing and my quick review. This Redmi Note 10 smartphone has the highlighted features like a super AMOLED display and Sony camera, 33 watts of fast charging support like that. So it is one of the best smartphone in this price category. Well, let's start this video with this Redmi Note 10 smartphone unboxing. Well guys, now this is the Redmi Note 10 package. I have already unboxed this uh, package, so this is the Redmi Note 10 smartphone. Now let's unbox this smartphone. So here is the highlighted features like it AMOLED display, 48 megapixel, Sony camera like that. So after opening, so inside what we are all get. So here is a SIM ejector pin and then some of the user manuals are given here. Then here is the transparent case. So this is the transparent case and the transparent case is also comes with the light in weight. Already this smartphone is also as comes with the very light in weight. So along with this transparent case, so the smartphone will be still uh, under the light weight condition. Next here you will get a USB type C cable and then this is the 33 watts of fast charging adapter so that's all this package will be totally contains now let's move on to the redmi note 10 smartphone overview unboxing now on the physical overview so well firstly on the first impression and the main thing i really like in this smartphone is comes with a very light in weight and thin in size so while you're holding this smartphone you'll never feel like you are holding a smartphone like that so this redmi note 10 smartphone has comes with the overall weight of 178.8 grams of weight and it comes with a very light in thickness so it has a overall 8.3 mm of thickness so the smartphone is actually very cool to hands on so on just holding the smartphone in your hands it actually looks very light in weight and it's also very super slim so as you see here the smartphone is actually very light in weight and likewise it is actually built on a plastic material but it has a glass coating like that and even though with the glass coating it is not having a, any slippery like so you can easily hold the smartphone in your hands itself without any additional uh, back cover like that so it is having no slippery like that but as like the earlier redmi smartphone this is not having that uh, touch impression uh, protection like that so the rear panel will have the fingerprint impressions like that then this smartphone is actually a shadow black color variant addition to that there are two more color variants so that is a green and a white color variant so that is also looks quite good and moving on to the front side so it has a super amoled display on the front side which sports with a 6.43 inch full hd plus display and this display has a 2340 into 1080 pixel resolution and it is based on a dot notch display and it is as having a center control display and this control is having a total of 3.54 mm of size and uh, as you see in here so the punch hole is actually very small in uh, overall diameter and inside the punch hole it is actually equipped with a 13 megapixel of a selfie camera and it is protected with a corning gorilla glass 3 protection and as i already said this is an amulet display so it is one of the best to offer the viewing angle so even though if you are viewing this smartphone in direct sunlight also at that time also you can clearly able to view all the contents and it is one of the best display for watching movies or uh, youtube videos like that it has a good color accuracy and color contrast all the things are good and this display is also supported with the always on display you can easily turn on this feature under the settings option but and along with the always on display option it is this display is also supported with the edge lighting effects so whenever you will receive some of the notification like that so uh, even if your smartphone is in the uh, normally off state screen in the off state also when you receive the notification you will get the uh, edge lightings at the edges of the display so it is one of the good features and also this display is supported with a dark mode support too so in case if you want a dark mode means you can easily switch to the dark mode you can easily use your mobile without any strains to various highs now on the physical overview firstly on the top and bottom so on the top side it is having a speaker grill 
infrared uh, sensor and then a noise cancellation secondary microphone at the bottom side it has a 3.5 audio jack primary microphone usb type c port and the speaker grill so it, on the top and the bottom it has a dual speakers so it is supported with the studio speakers effects so even though if you are watching uh, movies uh, or uh, any youtube videos like that also you can clearly able to hear the audios and similarly it has a studio effects of features like you can able to hear the audio in the left and the right accordingly in the movie so this redmi note 10 smartphone is having a very good sound quality and then moving on to the sides the left side it has a sim card slot and this sim card slot has supported with a dedicated slot supporter so it is not a hybrid slot so it is a triple card slot and so here is a volume up and down keys and then a power on off button also in this power on off button fingerprint scanner is being equipped so using this you can easily able to unlock this smartphone and the unlocking speed is also too good as you seen here so using this side mounted fingerprint scanner you can easily lock and unlock this smartphone but this smartphone is actually supported with the AMOLED display only but this uh, smartphone is doesn't having the in display fingerprint scanning support so that is one of the disappoint for me so in case if a brand is comes with the in display fingerprint scan but in addition they can also increase the price to uh, extra 500 also but in case a brand is uh, comes with the in display fingerprint scanning that will be a more good thing and however there is uh, one more thing is that in the all the redmi note 10 series smartphones like uh, this redmi note 10 and note 10 pro and then note 10 pro max so all the smartphone is uh, comes with the super amlet feature but all these models is doesn't having the in display fingerprint scan support now on the rear side so here is the camera module so it is having a rectangular camera module and inside the camera module will having a 48 megapixel primary camera so it is a sony imx582 camera sensor and this primary camera has a 0.8 micrometer of pixel size and f 1.79 of aperture size then it has a 8 megapixel of ultra wide angle and it supports 118 degree of field of view and 2 megapixel macro lens and 2 megapixel depth sensor is equipped with the and inside the camera model there is also a led flash is given and at the bottom so here is the redmi branding then moving on to the camera section so on the front side it is having a support of uh, 1080p video recording at 30 frames per second and at the rear side it is actually supported a 4k video recording at 30 frames per second now on the camera performance i have taken lot of photos using this redmi note 10 smartphone i just share all the photos which i captured uh, using this redmi note 10 smartphone first you let's see how you how's the camera samples so in the first impression so i have really liked this camera samples so so the pictures are very very sharp and the subjects are too good so it has a good color optimization and mainly i really like the, in this uh, camera samples are it has a very sharp images so as you seen in the all the pictures the photo quality is very sharp we'll share more info about this camera samples in the upcoming uh, camera review video as a separate video we'll let watch in the upcoming days next moving on to the browser so this smartphone is powered with uh, Qualcomm Snapdragon 678 octa core browser so it is a 4G smartphone only so it is not a 5G smartphone and it is combined with the Adreno 612 GPU so in terms of GPU it's a really performs very very well so I have played uh, multiple games and I have played uh, some of the YouTube videos and all the things I have tested and on the test results so in terms of uh, gaming performance it really played well so i have played a couple of games and i also played a gta so all in on playing all the games and the thing is that this smartphone is actually not having a heat so, so generally redmi smartphones will have uh, some of the heat but this redmi note 10 smartphone uh, it's not having a uh, more heat like that so it is having a very very light in heat only so even though i am playing a uh, more than one hour two hour also the smartphone will be never hot heated and it has a qualcomm snapdragon 628 browser so in terms of performance so it is really a more good so even though i am performing multiple tasking and playing multiple games at the time also so it performs well and as well as this smartphone is also comes with a 
game space as in the as a software addition then this smartphone is actually runs on MIUI 12 based on android 11 operating system then finally in terms of battery so it is having a 5000 mAh of battery with uh, 33 watts of fast charging support and also you will get a 33 watts of fast charging adapter too and it has a usb type c port connectivity so the fast charging is also too good so it is actually charges 50 percentage of battery in just 23 minutes and overall for 100 percentage of battery it almost takes one hour so i will post a separate video about the fast charging and the battery drain test in a separate video will get watched in the upcoming days then this smartphone is also having a z axis haptic uh, motor so we'll get a haptic feedback while you're moving to some other option and while you're typing messages also you will get a some of the haptic feedback so it is having a z axis haptic motor inside this redmi note 10 smartphone overall so that's all about this video guys so this is the redmi note 10 smartphone so in my point of view so so it is uh, actually a priced at rupees 12,500 for 4 GB plus 64 GB model. So in the, for this price segment, it is one of the very best smartphone and it is one of the choosable smartphone in this price category. So the one thing I got disappointed is that uh, so this smartphone is actually comes with a side motor fingerprint scanning instead of the in-display fingerprint scanning. If this smartphone is uh, has actually comes with the in-display fingerprint scanning means so it is the best smartphone in this price segment. So that's all about this video guys. So what are your thoughts on this Redmi Note 10 smartphone? Let me know in the comment section below. And that's all about this video guys. And hopefully if you guys like this video, hit the like button. And if you guys like to watch my upcoming videos, hit the subscribe button below. And thanks for watching this video guys.